Sarah Elliser just got a new set of wheels. My last car, a 1998 Mitsubishi Eclipse, died on me. With only a semester of student teaching between her and graduation, she decided to lease a brand new Nissan Sentra. It was probably the best choice for me. The words small car often equal cheap car. The auto industry wants to disprove this stereotype. Her new ride came loaded. Power windows and locks, traction control, and a nice sound system all came standard. The car includes much demanded iPod connectivity. Just plug in the device and the music comes on. The infusion of technology into cars continues to increase rapidly. Bill McCandless Ford sales manager Eric Baptiste says not just luxury cars have high-tech features. And technology has gotten quite a bit cheaper than it has been in the past so that allows them to put those features in the less expensive vehicles. Even compact cars like the Ford Focus have full color screens, satellite radio, and more, including parental controls. You can adjust maximum speed of the car. You can adjust maximum radio volume because sometimes they like to crank, you know, crank it up. Baptiste insists not only young people look for these features. And to be honest with you, we get quite a few uh, people, you know, in their 60s, 70s that want to use the technology. It's really a lot of everybody. As for Elliser, she finds the car itself more important than any of the features inside. I just needed a car that would run, and so any technology in here is a bonus. Not all of us have the same practical desires as Sarah does. In Mercer, I'm Joe Ligo for the County Line.